Hello ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Radolescence and welcome back to another video. Thank you all very much for tuning in. And in this video, I'm going to be going over my top five favorite fragrances by the company Calvin Klein. Now Calvin Klein was actually my introduction into the fragrance world. I've been collecting since I was about 10 years old and when I was in high school I had about 30 bottles in my collection and I could never bring myself to throw away any fragrances that I ever owned or purchased or been given as gifts or anything, which is why I consider myself a collector from that young age. And uh, my first experience into the perfume world was indeed a Calvin Klein scent. So I'm excited to do this list. I have to mention Calvin Klein is not one of my favorite houses. They wouldn't even be in the top 10 to be honest with you. But there's something about their scents that is so nostalgic for me. Anyways, I'm excited to get into this list. Let me give you some honorable mentions. First honorable mention, CK1 Summer 2014. This is a margarita in a bottle. It's sweet, it's salty, it's boozy. Oh yeah, that's another thing. This smells like a, a margarita with a salted rim. Amazing scent, right? Some spices in there too, a little bit of sweetness in the background. I just, I wanna spray because I love the smell. Oh, such a good smell, so fresh and effervescent. And then the next one on this list, and I'm still smelling it. Next one, uh, honorable mention, Calvin Klein Encounter, CK Encounter. Reason why is because this one reminds me a lot of Interlude Man by Amouage because it's done by the same perfumer, Pierre Negrin, except this one on the other hand is not as bold or potent or smoky or ashy as Interlude Man by Amouage. This on the other hand is actually a little bit softer, a little more muted, and I don't really like that. The performance is also pretty weak on my skin as well. So if it weren't for that, I would be singing higher praise for it. All right, let's go ahead and get into the list. Number five on my list is actually the very first fragrance that I ever owned. It was either this or Abercrombie & Fitch Woods. I don't remember. It's been like, you know, a long, long time. And uh, this one is CKB. And what I like about CKB is that it's, it's a very soft, subtle, and cozy fragrance. It makes you want to snuggle up next to somebody and maybe read a good book or so. It's just, it, it evokes that cozy nature about it. And uh, it brings up back a lot of memories from when I was 10 years old and I can remember exactly where I was when I wore it. And I remember I kept it in the cabinet of my second floor bedroom in my childhood home and the top of the box was ripped off. And I remember the collars on all of my t-shirts used to be stretched out. And just whenever I smell it, it immediately brings back these memories and it leaves me so impressed. I mean, scent and its power to evoke memory is really a thing to be revered. Number four on my list is Ascent for the Millennials. It is their newest original release and uh, Unfortunately, I wasn't crazy about it. I, I reviewed it. If you are interested in checking out the review, I'm going to leave a link down below. This one is CK2. So after countless flankers on CK1, they said, you know what, let's go back to the drawing board. Let's reinvent the wheel, so to speak. And they came out with CK2, which is a, a, a light, aqueous, watery, transparent, crisp, clear, fresh, citrusy scent. Very inoffensive, very casual at times even perfunctory. The next one on this list is uh, one that I actually do admire quite a bit, but there's something that uh, it leaves me a little sketchy or a little edgy. Uh, this one is uh, CK Reveal by Calvin Klein. I really like this one because it has an agave note and it really makes it stand out. And it's, it's a little coniferous at times. It's green, it's resinous, it's sweet. It reminds me of this type of resin called mastic or lentisque. So I think that part of it is really unique. The one thing about it that really sort of uh, makes me raise a few eyebrows is it smells a lot like a fragrance that I paid $5 for. And that fragrance is Beverly Hills Polo Club. I think it's called Rogue. It's also found in a green bottle. Uh, and this one, it, it, the resemblance is such a striking resemblance and it makes me think, why? Like, how can they afford to put out, put out that fragrance for $5 and then this one you have to pay a high price tag for? I know it can be found discounted online today, but I did pay full retail for this when it came out. Whatever, might be a dummy. But anyways, I really like this scent. The next one on this list is probably a lot of people's favorites. So if anybody had to choose a fragrance from this house, they would probably pick this one and for good reason. This is a solid, solid fragrance. This one is CK1 Shock. This is no slouch, right? Fantastic scent. You have some sweet nuances, a resinous background, some spicy notes in there as well. It actually reminds me of a mix of Andy Warhol by Bond Number no. 9 crossed with Burberry London. Phenomenal scent. At any given day, it could easily be my number one. 
And my true number one is a fragrance that I purchased, I think it was back in 2003, I may be mistaken, but I purchased it when I was going to Greece. And uh, I remember being on the, um, on the airplane, I think it was Delta, and I was looking at the, uh, I, what is it, the Sky Miles magazine or the Sky Mall or whatever it's called, and I saw an advertisement of this topless guy and he had long flowing blonde hair and he was sitting on a couch like very cavalier. And I was like, man, he looks really cool. I would like to be like him. And I remember purchasing the scent and that summer I got a lot of compliments and I hung out with one of my childhood friends. Her name is Stella. And I remember she used to compliment me on the scent too. And I remember there was a glimmer of hope in my mind and in my nose that almost said to me, man, fragrance does work. You know, it has the power of getting you these compliments. And, uh, you know, many, many, many years later, I'm still buying bottles of this. This is my second or third bottle. I don't even remember now. This is uh, CK Crave by Calvin Klein. And you know what? I'm going to take it a step further. This is a clone of Tom Ford's Costa Azzurra, part of the um, uh, Neroli Portofino line. Yes, it is. It's bright. It's fresh. It's aquatic. It's effervescent. It's attracting, right? It, it's, it's inviting. It has that allure to it. Um, it's a great scent. And to think that so many years later, Tom Ford put, puts out Costa Azzurra, which smells so similar to this, and they're managing to, um, you know, charge an arm and a leg for it. Not to say that that's necessarily a bad thing. You know, I think sometimes the price of the product does match the price of its demand, but this is so inexpensive. Some people are saying it's discontinued. I'm still finding it online. My local perfume store in Bayonne, New Jersey still carries it. So here's me telling you guys, this is my favorite. I have worn it for many years, have gone through several bottles. I love how bright and fresh and clean it smells. And I get a lot of compliments with it too so um and not only that it's a clone of a very popular tom ford fragrance anyways if you're willing to check any of these out i will be leaving links down below to where you can find them but lastly i just want to thank my subscribers thank you so much for tuning into my channel watching my videos and supporting my content it means the world to me and if you have experience with any calvin klein fragrances tell me which ones did i miss leave a comment down below i'd be more than interested uh, to read your comments and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss any future fragrance related content remember i smell well so you can smell good and we'll see you in the next video take care